Hello and welcome to Jay's Days. Today we're going to go and have a look around Sumiyoshi Taisha, or you could say Sumiyoshi Grand Shrine. Straight up ahead there, you can see the iconic bridge. Oh, this fella's in my way. I think I can squeeze past. I'm clearly heading there on my mama cherry today, my uh, old lady shopping bicycle. You don't have to come here by a bicycle, you can come here by tram. It's also quite near the Nankai Railway. I come here quite a lot, no matter the weather, even if it's pissing it down, but I seriously don't recommend it. Not many places to find shelter, you'll get wet. This is what it looked like when it was busy. This is pre-pandemic. The place used to be packed, especially at New Year. But look at it now, quite empty. I'll go over the road and find somewhere to park my bike. Chirinjo, bicycle parking spot, lovely. And look at that, refreshments, I can get a drink. Apparently Sumiyoshi Taisha was originally founded in 211, a long time ago. Obviously nothing's originally left from then, but what a history. Pretty much everything in the shrine's been donated whether it be the stone lanterns, or the torii gates, or pictures. If you look around it, it'll have a name written on it, it'll probably have the date written on it. Even if it's a picture of an Oni or a demon like this, it's been donated. Someone actually posted it in. Someone with money. Not me. I'm skin, that's why I'm giving YouTube a go. Anyway, let's have a look. Let's go over the bridge. Let's have a look at Sumiyoshi Taisha. This bridge is great. Lots of people like to take pictures here. It's a great place to get your souvenir picture of Osaka. To be honest, there aren't many things to see in Osaka. I would personally say this is one of my favorites. It is quite a steep bridge. A lot of people wear their normal shoes, perhaps even heels. I personally wouldn't go over here in heels. Nice, comfortable walking shoes. Don't slip, don't fall. Be safe. What goes up, diddly up, duck? Must go down, diddly on down. Before you enter a shrine, you usually would wash your hands, like you, you get a little paddle, you wash your right hand, you wash your left hand, you wash your right hand again maybe, and then you put a little bit of water in your mouth, you have a rinse, you have a gargle, or blah, blah 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 blah, and a spit. But nowadays, there are no implements. There's still water there at some of them, you can wash if you like, but this is what it used to be. You used to have ladles. Maybe they'll be back again in the future. Anyways, this is the entrance proper. Some stairs to go up. Let's go. This is number three main shrine. Apparently there are four main shrines. Guess their names. Number one, number two, number three, and number four. Countdown from three. This is number two. So we've had three, we've had two. What do you reckon that one is ahead? Hmm. Three, two... That's right, it's imaginatively titled Main Shrine Number One. 
some more old pics of busier times. If you want to make babies, this is the place you're supposed to come to. Make an offering, say a prayer. Get your little fellas to work a little bit harder. Maybe you'll have a baby. Obviously work for the Koma Inu. Look at all the babies on his back. Not babies got back. Babies on your back. Does anyone remember Baby Got Back? It's a mix a lot. The old days. I'm getting old. <laughs> Not really that impressive right now as nobody's here, but there are little pathways around the back of each of the shrines that you can find if you want a little break from everybody else. I'm going this way. Here you can get your Maneki Neko little statues. It's a give me stuff cat. If the left hand's up, it means you want people and money. If your right hand's up, it means give me business. It's just a gimme cat. And if you look at the pricing system of buying the cats, wow, they make a lot of cats. Pucker apron, bruv. What you're going to do here is you're going to stick your hand through the gaps and try and find some pebbles. You're trying to find pebbles that give you the five great powers. So the first pebble wants to have a five written on it. The next one, die or big written on it. And the last one, ricky or power. Five great powers. What you're supposed to do is you're going to gather these three pebbles. Find a little lucky charm bag at the kiosk near the front entrance. Which obviously you pay for. Put it in the bag. Then... Once your dream has come true, you're supposed to return the bag to the shrine and hang it on the gate like these people. This time I got five fives, twenty-five, two bigs, but only one power. Is that good? I doubt it. Let's move on. Gonna head through the exit on the north side. There are a couple more shrines I want to visit. If I read the info correctly, this is supposed to be a place that takes care of the ladies. They can go and they can pray and they can give offerings and it'll help protect them against the evil men. On the whole, pretty standard info around the world, but those signs say, no dogs, no fags. I meant cigarettes. I do like the way that you can often see turtles in and around shrines. But I do wonder... Does anyone else, apart from those in the East Midlands, use the term I'm turtling to describe a certain situation? This is Otoshisha. It's like 
big age shrine. This place you got some rocks, you can pick up the rocks, lift up the rock. When you lift up the rock, you're supposed to say what you want, what your dream is, what you want to come become true. You put the rock back down, then you lift up another rock, all the same rock. And whether it's lighter or heavier, means your dream will come true. If it's lighter or heavier, maybe it will come true. If it's heavier or lighter, it won't come true. I can't remember which way around. I keep forgetting. Maybe someone dreamt a coke. Bunch of rules there, no fags, no online gaming, no drones. Oh, what's happened to Japan? You used to be able to drink and smoke anywhere you liked. I'm going to use my lucky 5 yen here, stick it in the slot and head towards the rubbing rabbit. You have to rub the rabbit where it hurts. Where on your body does it hurt? On your head? Oh, rub the head. On your chin? Rub the chin. Oh, on your bum bum? Rub the bum bum. Wherever it hurts on your body, rub the rabbit. It's supposed to get better. As you can see, it was blocked for quite a long time because of COVID but now all you need to do is spray your hands and rub 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 Once you've finished rubbing rabbits and taking pictures of bridges, there's always Sumiyoshi Park. It's just across the road, the other side of the tram, the other side of the Nankai Railway. Take a picnic, sit down, look at the cranes. I meant the birds, not the machinery. Please subscribe, please hit the bell button, and please hit like. I really need it. I don't have a job right now. <laughs>